there, it's Sarah. I'm one of your fourth year BFA students uh, working towards our virtual exhibition, which is really exciting. Uh, I'm really happy about it. I mean, it's obviously really disappointing that we don't get to have the normal exhibition space that we did before and have everybody together because we were such a nice tight-knit community. But you know, it's, it's nice. I think it'll be really good to have the virtual exhibition online and be able to reach so many more people. I think it'll just create so many opportunities for everybody and kind of brighten the world up a little bit with all this craziness going on. Put some more art out there. <laughs> so uh, let's talk about my space. So I am in my mom's garage, which is pretty amazing. Like I didn't think that I would be able to take over the whole garage, but she's just kind of like, let me <laughs> just consume the space. Nobody's going anywhere anyway. All the vehicles are parked so they can park outside. So I've just kind of made this my little work woodworking shop. Um, it's been really fun actually uh, trying to do this on my own. It's really, I'm learning a lot. <laughs> I learned so much with Philip and Jake Jacob, our shop techs at UBCO. But uh, it's been really interesting trying to figure stuff out on your own. Like, of course, they've been supportive online, but uh, service out here isn't that great, so I don't always have instant um, help. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's been it's been really interesting trying to figure out this stuff on my own. I feel really confident with a palm sander, a jigsaw, and a table saw. So <laughs> that's a positive. Um, my next step with this actually, so what I've done is I've put the skin on, I've wood filled all the little gaps so that it's all light tight, and then what I'm going to do now is, uh, well I've sanded it, I've palm sanded the whole thing so it's all nice and smooth, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to prime it and then put my first layer of paint on, and I'm going to paint it white. I think it'll look really nice white. Uh, I can always change that in the future, sand it down, change it, um, but I'm going to try white for now because since I'm taking it out into the environment, I mean it's Slave Lake, northern Alberta right now, so we've got about three feet of snow. <laughs> so I think it'll blend in really nice with the environment and if I were to put it in the gallery, I would paint the whole gallery black and then put or paint the light box black as well. I'll show you a little time lapse of me painting it. So the next thing I wanted to do is kind of show you the environment that I'll be installing in. It's obviously going to be outside because I can't fit a 12 foot light box um, inside the house. So here I'll show you. These are the willows that I'm going to be uh, installing between. I think you can see I'll, I'll kind of put the screen just straight across and then as we kind of walk in we'll have the we'll have the light box set up at a little bit of an angle within there and it'll be kind of interesting a little bit eerie I think which I I'm kind of excited about it might change my perspective on site specific um, installations for myself personally so I'm really excited about that so I'll keep you updated on how that turns out. <laughs> 